flute. Oh, will you play a song, brother? It was my daughter's. But I will tell you of it later. Hmm? The flute you found. You said it belonged to your daughter. I carved it for her as a gift. She enjoyed playing and was skilled with it. It was a song she would play. One I used to remember every note of. But no longer. Brother, if you mean to recount the story of the day you were tricked into killing your wife and daughter, you don't have to. You've told that story before. We know how it ends. You needn't relive it. Hmm? That's not the story her flute brings to mind, is it? No. Calliope's flute again. Still on your mind, brother? Yes. I will explain later. Mumia. The day my family died was not the last time I saw Calliope. I had journeyed to the underworld to rescue Helios. When I arrived, I heard Calliope's song on the wind and found her in the fields of Elysium. It had been long since I felt such joy. But it was another trick of the gods. It wasn't her. Huh? Worse. It was. The goddess of the underworld wished to destroy all of creation, Elysium included. She knew that for me to stand against her meant leaving Calliope behind forever. So... I pushed my daughter away again, all while she cried and begged me not to. Calliope's flute. Whenever you're ready, brother. Take your time. Brother, the choice you were given? To stay in Elysium with your daughter, only to perish? Sounds like no choice at all. Of course it was a choice. One I wished many times I'd made differently. How so? When I left Greece, Calliope was never far from my mind. I do not know how much time we would have had together in Elysium, but I would have traded the decades that followed for mere hours with her. It took meeting Faye for that feeling to go away, along with Calliope's song. But I do still think of her in Elysium and hope she found peace. You found the pendant of a necklace. Fancy. I will tell you the pendant story. Soon. The pendant you found, brother. Do you recognize it? Does it have some significance? Yes. It belonged to my wife. It was Faye's? No. My first wife, Lysandra. Ah. I see. You know, brother, you've told me a great deal about your daughter, Calliope. But her mother is a bit of a mystery. My thoughts on her are... complicated. But she was a good woman, and I loved her more than she knew. She saw in me possibilities I could not at the time. In that way, she and Faye were much alike. Lysandra's pendant. I have more to say, but not now. <laughs> Your first wife, Lysandra, you said she saw possibilities in you that you didn't. She suggested I did not have to be who I had chosen to be. That the carnage and suffering I inflicted on those my army conquered was a choice. That there was another way. I refused to see it then thinking it was my duty to annihilate all that stood in the way of the Spartan Empire. I believe leaving foes alive simply invited potential uprisings later, that enemies could never be turned to friends. I was wrong. Lysandra's pendant again. I suspect your story isn't complete. Yes, but... I know. Later. <clears throat> Lysandra was clearly important to you. Why did you say your feelings for her were complicated? Because she was a good wife, and I was not a good husband. I refused to listen, to heed her advice. I commanded armies, 
had responsibilities to them I thought greater than those to her. But that was hubris, an ambition. The truth is, it never even crossed my mind to consider her advice or needs. So, when I think of her, I can only see my failures. She deserved better from me. And that was long before my oath to Ares led to... All that was to follow. I understand, brother.